Hey there! Today we're going to be having a look at this pen. Now I, I'm very interested to see what kind of comments this is going to get. This is the Harrods pen. And Harrods is a uh, famous department store in London. Well, I was many years ago. I wasn't there. I wasn't in that Harrods recently. So start speculating on how I got this. Anyway, um, I saw it. I thought it was cute. It's kind of like a keepsake. Harrods is so famous. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's sort of like departments are very large and you know, every big space, all kind of very expensive things, all of you know. It's a very sort of fancy and you know, sort of ambiance. Um, but I, I thought it was neat. So uh, I, I couldn't find the black online. I could find the green online, which is which looks to have exactly the same decorations, except it's it's uh, green. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Before I do that, I will do a writing sample. It's a surprisingly fun pen. So, let's get started. Okay, here we go with the Harrods pen. Came with a sort of a, a plastic outer case over this, but I threw that out. And then there's a tin, which I thought is quite cute, especially given the price of the pen. It's kind of a cute tin. Uh, pen was in here and then the cap. Uh, and there was a, a cartridge, just a standard international short cartridge. Uh, in the barrel of the pen. So packaging, it's, it's fairly simple, straightforward. And then here we have the actual pen. I'll zoom in a bit and then I'll put this right next to a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, about the same length, but slimmer. It's, it's definitely a slim pen. I really like the lacquer on it. I think it, it looks quite nice. And uh, let's, let's look at some of the details. So on the finial, we have the famous Harrods H, their logo. Then we have this clip. The clip is uh, nice, stiff enough to not bend out of shape easily, but, but um, not so tight you can't use it. And I like this sort of ski slope design that, that slips easily into pen cases and such. It says Herod's on the center band, uh, and then right beneath it we have various H's again. It looks like a nice shiny metal. Uh, it's all metal, which I think is kind of neat. It does feel quite solid. And at the bottom, we have a nice gold end cap. The cap pops off. We have a nice gold colored section. And then a number five nib that simply says Iridium Point F. Nothing fancy, it's not gold, it's just uh, probably gold plated steel, or at least gold colored steel. Um, I don't know what, what material the plating is. And then a simple feed, nothing fancy. The barrel unscrews. No converter included with the pen. I just, I had a couple uh, Waterman cartridges, which I like as they're the international long. Uh, so they hold more ink than a standard cartridge and actually also more ink than a converter. Uh, fit very well, no problems, easily fit into the barrel. And uh, then you have, you have a nice ink in it. I would not at all be surprised if it fits standard international cartridges. If it fits a Waterman converter, it'll probably fit standard international converters as well. I think I just said cartridges, I meant converter. As you can see, it's not a huge pen, definitely very slim, um, but if you want to, it posts very securely, uh, and it, it, you may be able to tell the, the barrel actually tapers down a bit near the end, so it, it takes the cap very well for posting. You have a really nicely sized pen, and to me, it's also not top heavy because of the overall length. But maybe if you have smaller hands, that might be more of an issue. But for me, it has not really been an issue. Let's see how it writes. We have the Herod's fountain pen. It's a fine, sorry, steel nib. Uh, it, it actually is labeled F. So we, it's not one of those sort of nondescript, is it medium, is it fine? Uh, and the ink is Waterman uh, Serenity. It's now, I think this still said Florida, but whatever it was in those cartridges, the Waterman Blue. Definitely fine. Little bit of feedback, but I don't find it scratchy at all. This, I think, here was a skip, and this was me misaligning the pen. But overall, keeps up fairly well. 
I don't find it the world's wettest pen. So I might make this nib a little bit wetter, uh, just to match my preference, but clearly it writes. It doesn't hard start, it doesn't, it, it's not so dry that it's unusable. It's just relatively speaking, I wouldn't mind it to be a little bit wetter. Very nice flow though. This is my favorite test for skips, because when pen hard starts, you, you will see it here. No issues there. Um, line variation. It's not a flex nib, so be very, very careful, but you can squeeze out a bit of line variation. Those of you who enjoy such a thing, reverse writing is possible, but you already start out with a fine nib, so you go to extra fine, I don't think it really adds much. It's a solid pen. The metal does make it feel like you're really holding a nice pen that's robust. I do really like that, and I will say I really like the H's. It just elevates the pen a bit. Um, I'm fairly certain this was made in China, um, but I think it looks pretty cool and it's a nice writer. So let's discuss some likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like? Sorry for the profound stare. Uh, on what do I like and not like about, sorry, the Herod's fountain pen. Um, I will say straight away, I thought it's a very pleasant writer. And yes, it's just the number five iridium point nib. It's a fine, there is no other nib grades available. I like it, it's a slimmer pen, but it's a pleasant writer. And at the end of the day, that's what you get it for. Now, having said that, um, we, we should address the issue. I'm 99% certain this is made in China. It looks in every way to me to be an, a Chinese pen. The metal, the, the, the overall shape, the Iridium Point Germany type. It doesn't say Germany, sorry. Iridium Point nib. It feels like it was made in China. But having said that, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We, we have seen in the past year some really nice pens come from China. And I will say the, the fit and finish on this pen it's all very good. Um, everything looks tight. I don't see any large gaps anywhere. There are no sharp angles or corners. Uh, it's, it's a pleasant writer. It posts securely, nice smooth nib. Uh, so I think it depends on are you bothered by the fact that it comes from China uh, or is it maybe not an issue and you don't really mind and it's all okay. Um, I think we should not be hasty in judging pens from China, uh, because I do think they, as I said, have shown a really interesting improvement in quality in the past years. There's really cool pens coming out of China. So anyway, there is, there is that. Um, I think it looks refined. Yes, it, 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 it may not be the most luxurious pen ever, but I mean, I do think these kinds of details, like the Harrods H that's on there, uh, it looks cool with the black and gold. It's a fun keepsake. If you're in London, if you go to Harrods, you see, you see, you know, you may want something from your trip or whatever. I think this is great. And I will say, I feel that fountain pen aficionados, uh, whatever that means, but I think you have a good feeling for what I mean. They might say something like, well, I don't know, it looks like a Chinese pen. And that's right. I got that. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw it. And yet I thought, but it's a cute keepsake. So that might be worth it. And that's kind of it. So if, if you can look past that and you're okay with that, then what's the issue? Then it's just a cute pen. Um, obviously the price is, is marked up, uh, all, all those things. I, I'm not going to battle that because I, I, I agree. Uh, but again, I would look at it as it's, 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 a, it's a keepsake type pen. Uh, and again, most important thing is it writes beautifully and that's just the way it is. So I, I have no issues uh, with that whatsoever. It does everything it's supposed to do. And there we are. Let me know what you think of the Herod's fountain pen. And uh, that's all there's to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.